Hello again everyone, this is Steve with Nick's Service out of Emerald Park, Saskatchewan. Today's how-to subject, we're going to be talking about uh, the navigation of the NT01 terminal. Uh, now the NT01 terminal is the one you're seeing right in front of you here. It's the full uh, kind of rectangular uh, shape here uh, for this terminal with the keypad on the side with the push dial on the uh, extreme outside. Now this terminal is used in uh, vent tractors uh, with that are guidance ready. Uh, we also use it in our application equipment in the row gators and interrogators C-series models. Uh, we use it in the uh, current model Gleaner Combines, the S9s, as well as the uh, current model Ideal Combines. So as far as navigation goes, they might look a little bit different as far as the interface because of uh, this being a tractor versus a combine versus an applicator. We're gonna need to see different things. But as far as navigating the screen, it's gonna be very similar. So the first thing that we're going to talk about here is the keypad uh, and this is key to um, navigating through this display because it gives you a uh, hard point to uh, contact the screen there uh, as well as some quick buttons to access things. Um, so going through the buttons here we have a back button, a home button that will always bring us to the home screen uh, with a single press. Uh, we have the four square button here this uh, allows us to change the quadrants here. Uh, so we can set up the display uh, how we want to see depending on what information we want to see at the time uh, And then we also have the uh, help uh, button here, which if we're in a subject um, This one I'm not sure if it has it installed I have to install it yet But uh, you should have um, basically pages from your operator's manual right here up on the display uh, If you ever need to uh, have an explanation as to how something works uh, It'll be put in there if your tractor is displaying this uh, just like this, give us a contact here at the dealership. There is a way to put those help files back in. Uh, they usually get deleted out when we do software and they should be put back in the tractor, um, just so you're aware. So if we hit the home button here, we're gonna go back to the home screen. Um, we also have this push dial here and this is used to make fine adjustments in settings for speeds, um, for presets, that sort of thing. And we'll kind of cover that a little bit more in detail when we get into it. It also clicks in as a way of selecting and uh, it just sort of selected whatever we have here. Uh, the reason it brought that up there is because that little red box there is what we're highlighting. Uh, we can use the uh, buttons on the side here in lieu of touching the actual screen to navigate around. And you can see that little red box is moving up and down there uh, and the OK button to select it, which is really handy as you're bouncing around the field. You actually have something to grip onto here with this nice little grip. You can navigate through the buttons um, without having to kind of line up on the screen there. So that gives you a couple different options of uh, ways to do things. Um, like I say, the push dial, uh, when you click it down, enter, acts as an enter button. The um, OK button is a select button. And of course, we can go right ahead and touch the screen as well. So let's say we want to uh, reconfigure the screen a little bit here. The first thing I'm going to do is press the uh, four square button. And then it gives you the options as far as which ones will be uh, editable. Now this will be different depending on what type of machine you have in there. Um, usually the uh, top uh, right and the top left um, are not usually editable. Um, the top right usually being reserved for uh, machine functions, uh, like in this case the tractor. Top left uh, in the combines is reserved for uh, your settings. Um, and but the uh, bottom ones are usually editable depending on what you have available to you as well. Um, so right now we are set up with the isobus. Uh, the symbols are as follows. We have the camera, we have the isobus, and info plus. The info plus is sort of like your heads up display. It gives you uh, tractor information in this case, um, combine information, pre pressures, temperatures, uh, speeds of shafts if you're in a combine, um, hydrostatic pressure in your, in your uh, applicator, whatever the case may be there. It kind of gives you that heads up display and we can cycle through information there. Um, down here uh, we have uh, the bottom here reserved for our maps. Uh, this tractor is equipped with the uh, auto guide system. So we can see our maps either uh, on a quadrant or half screen. So we can select both of those at the same time, um, or we can just sort of select a camera. Now, as you noticed, if I select camera here, it's going to gray out uh, the camera up at the top there. Uh, certain functions will override other abilities. Um, for example, you can't have four cameras on the, on the display at the same time, um, but you can have one camera function there uh, and it's going to allow you to see both cameras, uh, which are inputs to the back of the uh, console here. So just for today's example, I'm going to keep it sort of simple. Uh, so we're going to have our map. Uh, we're going to put a camera up here. Uh, we're going to have our ISO bus uh, and that's uh, we're re basically ready to select that. Another button I wanted to cover here is the quick access to the day night mode. A uh, simple press of that will change the color scheme of the monitor completely, which is a little bit easier to see at night here. It's quite a bit darker in person than it is here on the video, uh, but uh, you'll have to check that out yourself. 
Um, so once you're happy with your configuration here, this is how we want to have it set up. We're going to hit the green check mark button and that's going to uh, bring up our settings here or the way we have our display set. So in the top quadrant, we have our tractor, we have our cameras down here. Uh, in this case, we have Info Plus and it's sitting on our hydraulic valves. Uh, tractor's not running, so everything's locked up. Uh, and then we have our ISO bus uh, here, but we don't have an implement connected right now, so there's nothing to uh, control. So uh, if we wanted to see uh, our tractor information, for example, here we have our, our Info Plus. Um, so we have a uh, hitch settings, we have our hydraulics, we have a quick jump. Uh, and this is where we can uh, save uh, a quick access to some things. For, for example, if I wanted to have quick access to my GPS screen, I would simply press and hold and it would uh, program that in there so I can hit the quick jump and it will bring up that uh, screen at, at demand there. So just as an example here, I'm gonna program this one in. You can see there, so if I hit my home button and now I go and press this button, it's gonna bring that up as, as a quick access there. So if I need to make changes to my um, guidance width, to my implement, I can kind of do that as a, as a quick button press. So a little bit of a shortcut there. Um, page down here, we have some fuel info in this case, um, total implement width and our teaching functions here. There's nothing programmed in there, but that would show us our sequence as we're going down the field, tell us which stage we're at um, and what sequence is, is queued up essentially based on which one we have selected here. My button's off. But... And then, yeah, we have a few different uh, views there. So it kind of gives you a heads up display there um, as far as information. Um, the ISO bus screen here in the top corner, uh, since we don't have anything uh, connected right now, we're going to have limited functionality here. If your unit is, is uh, equipped with sectional control, there will be another button down here uh, saying SC. And that's where you can set up your um, section settings, uh, for example, your overlaps, your on-off times, um, your section widths manually if you wanted to uh, adjust that. And that's uh, used with compatible section control implements. So a single button press will, uh, as as before, um, open up the uh, screen one, uh, kind of like a, a full screen here so we can see what's going on. Uh, we can uh, use the um, buttons through here to navigate. Uh, we'll go into more depth on setting up an ISO implement uh, when we have one connected here, because there are quite a few things we can, we can adjust in here, uh, including using the joystick here to control the uh, uh, implement functions instead of tractor functions, which is a really cool feature. So uh, again, I'm gonna press the home button here just to bring us back to the home screen. As you can see, brings us back to wherever we were at for as far as our quadrant set. Down here, we have the camera. Uh, we can switch between camera one, camera two, uh, single button press. Uh, again, those cameras are plugged into the back of the uh, armrest here. Just gonna swing down so you can see it here. Right down in there. Um, adapters are available from Agco as well. Uh, when you're not uh, navigating the screen there, it's black right now, but it will go kind of like uh, uh, give you a full screen so it's a little bit clearer to see. Simple tap will bring the uh, buttons back up. Uh, if you have a camera that you wanted to run when you're running in backup, uh, you can turn that on. It'll be whichever one you have selected. So I want to run camera one as my backup camera. Uh, so it'll come on automatically uh, full screen when I uh, am reversing. Uh, so if you have a implement that has a reverse facing camera that you want to see behind the implement while you're backing up, you can have it set so it brings it up full screen uh, when you're uh, maneuvering or if you have one mounted say uh, underneath the um, roof cap or something like that where it's pointing down you want to see your hitch while you're backing up uh, that gives you that option as well so some fl flexibility with the cameras um, anytime you have this button in the corner here it's a picture of the terminal and then the quadrant we're going to press that and it'll bring it up full screen and this is where we can set our brightness contrast colors uh, and then uh, a simple press again will bring it back down into the quad into the uh, quadrant view here um, so that's kind of the basics of how to navigate the, uh, and set up a, a screen. Um, there is a lot more in-depth information here, uh, which we'll cover in other videos here, because I'm just trying to keep it uh, condensed here. Um, as far as the implement control, section control, um, that sort of thing, uh, we'll set all that up at a later date. But uh, as far as uh, as far as navigating the screens and uh, finding the buttons, this is how, sort of how you have it set up there. Uh, we can always uh, change it around there and uh, see different information at any time. We can do this while we're cruising down the field uh, or if we want to set it up beforehand, by all means too. Uh, again, if you have any questions, uh, give us a co contact here at the dealership or leave a comment below. And if you have uh, found this information useful, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks.